my name is Jeremy Biggs and I'm the Managing Director of Curbcycle. Curbcycle is a curbside solution that is looking to innovate recycling in Australia so we can provide transparent outcomes for targeted materials currently heading to landfill. The Curbcycle solution idea came about with us working with uh, one key product steward being Nestle Australia. Nestle Australia approached us uh, through IQ Renew to uh, measurably offset some of the plastic production that they have in Australia today. So Curbcycle is trying to solve a number of problems in this ecosystem and I think to frame this question we must recognize that a lot of the recycling in Australia hasn't really had much innovation being driven through outside of normal recycling materials. Some of the more difficult materials to manage are things like soft plastics, things like coffee pods, fabrics and other, other materials as well. About 18% of the, the red bin today has got material sitting inside of it that we can actually take out and process in a measurable way. So one of the solutions that we're looking to achieve is uh, market education around what you can actually do with recycling in Australia with the right program set in place. What solutions do we need to develop around MRF recovery, so uh, recycling centre recovery of these targeted materials so that we don't contaminate those lines? And how do we create solutions that provide transparency for recycling across Australia so we can understand where and what is happening to our recycling that we put into our recycling bins? Technology has enabled the curb cycle solution in several different ways. First and foremost, we've built unique traceability through our entire supply chain. So that what that means is that from every little Kirby bag that we collect at household, all the way through to end processing, downstream processing, we can understand the flow of material through this ecosystem. Uh, the most important thing around this is that we built and architected our solution so that we have near infinite scalability as well. If you build something that's very small for a small segment, that's great for POC, but for us, we wanted to build something that could scale at a national and international level very, very easily. Technology enables the best possible outcomes for each stakeholder in our ecosystem. So the curbside recycling solution for households in particular, the technology enables us to provide gamified rewards, education, uh, and feedback, direct feedback to communities so that community understands what's going on. At the MRF side for the recycling centre, we enable technology for them with um, IoT and computer vision to identify the material types that we want to collect and segregate them so those material types don't necessarily contaminate the other lines in the business. I think Curbcycle is unique in its approach that we've taken. We're leveraging the existing council asset to segregate these targeted materials. In the past, uh, this has been done other places in the world, but without the same sort of traceability in mind and downstream processing as an end-to-end -end, uh, supply chain. Because of the way we've architected architected our solution, it gives us a very unique position um, to provide objective feedback to the entire industry and what actually is going on. Data privacy for us is one of the most important aspects of our solution. So when we've architected our product, what we've done is made sure that all the data that we're collecting is, is encrypted, uh, at rest and in, in transit as well. From a community perspective, we recognize that we don't want to, to go through people's rubbish bins. It's not the right way of doing things. So what we've done is uh, created a Kirby bag that all the soft plastic goes inside, that gets sealed and then sent to us uh, through the normal recycling bin service. When we receive it at the recycling center and it is taken off the picking lines, it gets good, put straight into a bale, basically. So we never actually understand what plastic is being put into what bag. Some of the metrics that we want to gather are, are really around you know, contamination. So we're going to measure the overall tonnage we've collected, and we're also going to measure the contamination rates that we're getting for certain areas. We can drill that down to a postcode level and provide information back to council on education programs so that we can enhance the solution overall for the entire ecosystem. Collaboration with business and government in Australia has been amazing for us. We work with uh, key product stores like Nestle Australia and the Central Coast Council to trial solutions, uh, targeted materials like soft plastics that can scale into other material types as well. Our ultimate objective is to use the information that we've gathered through doing these trials in the Central Coast to build a blueprint that we can roll out on a national basis. I think Australia is becoming more and more receptive to supporting startups and growth with startups. And uh, ultimately, for me, I really want to see a lot more of that come through. I think we have an amazing opportunity to develop unique Australian intellectual property. We have a unique position to uh, use things that we're doing, for example, to, in, in respect of more manufacturing, creating more jobs, and creating new products that are created in Australia. The Curbside solution empowers Australian households in a fun, rewarding and transparent way so that they can understand where and what happens to the recycling once it goes into the recycling bin for targeted materials that currently head to landfill for us. Our solution is completely safe, completely secure and is really engineered to impact our environment in a really positive way.